On some runs, the biggest challenge is the weather. This is the story of two of those. Of hot and cold. Of snow and sun. Of ice and sand. A few months ago, some friends and I spent a weekend in the Harz, a modest mountain range in central Germany. Despite the unfriendly weather, two of us decided to run up Borken, the highest point of the Harz at 1140 meters. The first part of the trail felt more like ice skating than running. Later on, the ice turned into snow. Old, crunchy snow. The kind that sucks all momentum out of your feet. And near the summit, which not so adventurous people reach by steam train, the weather consisted almost exclusively of wind. Even though the weather completely obscured the view and left us wet and uncomfortable, the run up here was great fun. A different kind of challenge, and certainly one to remember. Several weeks later I found myself on the other side of the world with the opposite problem. There are many nice things you can say about Thailand and its climate, but it's not made for running. Setting out before sunrise, the temperature on the Phuket shore was already above my comfort zone. This time I had my brother for company, at least for the first part of the run. He had wisely insisted on an early morning start. As soon as the sun showed its face, the tropical oven turned on. Besides heat, the low sun provided magnificent lighting. And with most tourists still in bed, I had this beautiful lightscape to myself. Back in the German winter, the biggest challenge was yet to come. Getting down. Often that is easier than going up. But not on ice. Definitely not on ice. The challenge here wasn't about endurance or speeds. Even the cold and the rain weren't too bad. The challenge was keeping my balance, not getting injured. Luckily for my dignity, the camera wasn't running when I slipped and fell. Twice. But after a while, the path slowly got less icy. The snow on the ground turned into dirt and the snow from the sky into rain. The difficult part was over. Sometimes retracing your footsteps implies that you got lost or made a mistake. But sometimes it means that you're about to get out of the snow, that the cold is about to get a little warmer, or the heat a little cooler. When I'm running somewhere unfamiliar and I find my own footsteps, whether in the sand or just in my memory, it always helps. It means I'm not lost. It means that I'm past the halfway point that I'm on my way back to civilization. My footsteps are the way home, the finish line of an adventure.